How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome to another review on the channel. Today is the big one. Alan St. Maximin and his freeze item because it's big because on the Xbox he's got a big price. It's 1.2 million as of right now. On the PlayStation he's extinct at 1.3 million. The main question is... Is he worth that ludicrous amount of coins? The answer is probably no, but we're going to test him a day. We're going to try him out. I'm going to give you my opinion on the card. So if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring that type, smash that like, subscribe to the channel. If you are brand new around here and are looking forward to this review, it should be a banger, boys. It should be a banger. Haven't used him as yet, but I did use him in draft earlier on today. He did well, at the same time he didn't do too well. I might just include some of those clips in today's review as well. But lads, if you do enjoy, smash a like on it. That would be very much appreciated. And drop in the comment section below, who do you want to see a review next? Now, I'll see Maximin. For me, uh, the, the chem style needs to be finishing. I I'll show you and all that in just a second. Uh, he's got 5-star skills, 5 foot 8 height and low work rates. Right foot primarily, 4-star weak parts. And um, his base card style is still good, but as a striker... Which I'm going to play him as a striker at the day. He's only got 81 shooting. That doesn't look that impressive. So uh, for me, finishing, it's the chem style for him. Boost that finishing uh, from 80 to 80, well, 95. And the shot power to 99 from 91. And the attack position to 90 from 85. And that is what you need. In my personal opinion, that's what you need. Uh, he's got Nightfall Acceleration and Sprint Speed. Uh, so he should be very, very fast. He's got great shooting stats if you include the finisher chem style to that. 81 long shots to boot as well. The next shot should be okay. Yeah. He's passing. It looks a little bit... What is it? That, that less than desired or something like that? It doesn't look that impressive. 77 vision, 74 crossing. It doesn't look that impressive. 80 short pass. Get away with that for the one series and whatnot. Should be okay. And he's got 77. Okay, long pass. Scrap that. Put, throw that out the window. Uh, he's got 94 agility, 88 balance, 78 reactions, 84 ball control, 92 uh, in terms of dribbling and 83 composure. But as you guys know, even the normal state maximum in this game... It's one of the most broken dribblers, periods. Uh, you can skip past numerous, numerous challenges. You put someone in front of him, skip past him within a heartbeat. He's very, very agile and very evasive on this game. Is Alan St. Maximan. Uh, he's got 82 jumping. Poor head and accuracy at 59, but he should be able to win uh, the headers from the goal kicks. 5 foot 8, 82 jumping. Yeah, he should be. Uh, 94 stamina. Incredible. He's got high and low work rates as well. So the high and low work rates, he's not going to track back too, too often. And that stamina should last all game long for you to enjoy your dribbles. 81 strength. Fantastic. 44 aggression. Can't rack stats. Uh, so the aggression's not there. Strength could be quite useful with the left trigger pressed. He's got flair. That's what you imagine from a skiller and a dribbler of Alan C. Maximum's quality. Now, in terms of squad today, you see R9. Do you want to see a review on that R9? Just like a showcase? Let me know. I actually might actually do the best strikers. Um, and I include that in this review. Um, just some of the gameplay. In terms of formation today, actually playing a 4 triple 2 He's going to be playing striker in that role alongside Ronaldo. Uh, he's going to have the force 9. Stay central on him. So, Ronaldo's R9. He's going to do this. And St. Maximus is just going to drift in behind him. So that is going to be uh, the tactic support today. And I can't wait to test this card out, man. I, like I said, I tried him in draft. He was a fun card. He was a useful card. But he did have his flaws. So what's it going to be like in normal gameplay? Lads, let's pop into some division rivals. Let's find out. Can't see. A little chip of the... Sancho. Bit weird, that pass. R9's actually won that. Wow. Zidane. St. Max. He's on side as well. Great movement by Alan St. Maximin. And he does get the first goal. Six minutes. Well, eight minutes. I thought that was a six. Eight minutes into his debut, boys. He does get the goal, finish it in the bottom corner. And that was with his stronger right foot. But again, great movement on that. Great positioning. And I thought he was offside. His positioning was that good. The movement was that good. Sensational finish as well. Van Bissaka. R9. St. Maximin. Look at the dribbling on this guy, man. Through to R9. R9 ship. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to have so much fun. I am going to have so much fun with this pairing. It's going to be actually ridiculous. Oh, great challenge. Is it on? Sim Maximin. Oh, here we go, boys. Ronaldo. Two Sim Maximin. Little fake shot. Oh, you, oh, I've dragged it too wide. Oh, have a lads. Oh, what a save. Oh, I saved me to mid. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. After those missed chances, I will take it. Zidane's there. See the maximum in. Look how close his control is to his feet. It's always in control, man. Oh, stop that. Stop that, St. Max. Dude, ASM. He's cracked. His, like, his inform is cracked. 
in dribbling senses. This one be cracked with the finisher chem style and finishing senses. That was for these weak foot as well. I know it's four star, but again, the dribbling is just always in control, man. It's a joy to watch. Dude! Don't do this to him, man. Oh, he's got a family! <laughs> Dude! He's got a family, boys! Sir Maximin! Dude, that is superhero status. You see how easily he skipped past every single one of those challenges? Dude, this guy, it comes natural to him, dribbling-wise. He's so, so silky, man. Wow! Little flick. Oh! Can't touch this. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. Can't touch this. Oh, he scores! Don't demonetize me for the singing. I'm not a good singer. This is actually a really good player. Nice back heel, too. Pace boost. Pace boost. Come on, lads. Oh, try a bit of skill. Chops there. Finesse! Boom, baby! Let's go, Sim Max. I'm having so much fun with these cards. It sticks to his feet like the ball on the end of a string. Rivaldo. Sir Max. Do I get it back on his right? Yes, I do. Oh! That's what we're after, Sir Maximin. So there we have it in large for Alan Sir Maximin. What a card. What a card, man. And I say what a card because he excited me in the game. He made it enjoyable for me. Now... He's an excitable player, he's an enjoyable player, he does have his flaws, there's no doubt about that. And you would have seen that flashing up during uh, the, the gameplay segment, but lads, he's just such an enjoyable player and it will make your experience of this game uh, more fun, which you're kind of looking for in this game right now. But his price, far too extortionate right now, we'll get into his price uh, once we do talk about it. But the pros and the cons, first of all, the first one being his pace, he's so quick. Now this isn't just... Directed to him off the ball, running on the ball, sprinting with the ball. It's so quick in terms of responsiveness with the ball at his feet. He can go left, he can go right within a blink of an eye and do it. He's like the flash. He is like the flash in this game. The skills, he exits, exits them so fast. Honestly, his pace is phenomenal in this game. And his movements. Stick him in an advanced position, whether it be Lamb, which you can play in, Cam, which you can play in, Ram, which you can play in, Striker, which you can play in, Center Forward, which you can play in. He can play in any attack and roll. There's, no, there's no, don't worry about it, lads. There's no doubt in my mind he can play in each and every single one of those roles. Um, yeah, yeah, his movement's incredible. High or low work rates, he's not going to come back too often. And his positional awareness once in the, the more attack and foods is next to... Aguero, like, who, who's got good movement on this game? Aguero? Aguero's always had good, Mbappe's got great movement too. Uh, I'll be alongside those kind of players where they make those U-bend runs, those curved runs in behind the defences. Had him in a false nine roll as well today and he did superbly well. His dribbling, needless to say, is absolutely amazing and his skills benefit that nine folds. And of course his stamina can run all game long boys, 94 stamina, so you can trick, you can skill, you can uh, deceive your opponents to uh, your heart's content with the 94 stamina he does have. In terms of cons, aggression, he's not that powerful when it comes to body and plays, and that's possibly because of his aggression, because he does have really good strength at 81, so it could be because of his aggression um, being 44, very, very low on that size, so I just watch out for that, and his passion, it wasn't that incredible. It wasn't like take your breath away incredible. His crossing's only 74. Uh, if he's out in the wide areas, it's not going to be too, too good or anything like that. So just watch out for that and just go for the simple passes with Alan St. Maximin. But um, yeah, let's just get into his overall rating one. Now, this is an incredible card, by the way. Um, he, he played three games. He scored five goals and he assisted twice. He did really, really well over the division rivals matches. Uh, fantastically well, actually. Fantastically well. And I also included uh, the draft gameplay in the review, too. Uh, just so you can kind of see what he was like earlier on in my first impressions. Uh, so, overall rating for Alan St. Maximin, uh, a 9.2, which is a really good rating. And I am not getting carried away with this card. There is no bias whatsoever. If he was shite, 
I'd say the exact words, I'd say exactly what he is, but he's brilliant on this game, and he's very, very excitable, enjoyable, and enthralling. He's very, very good in this game. All the E's, lads, all the E's. Uh, enjoyment's 9.7. Like I said, he's really enjoyable, lads. 9.7 tops it off, man. It really, really does. But um, there's a price you need to pay for this card, and it's, it's not over a million. It's, I, I, I'd honestly keep him under a million. One point... 3 million on the PlayStation, 1.2 million is too much for this card. Um, it's a very enjoyable card, but lads, uh, he's not worth that price. He's just not worth that price. So I'm giving him a 6.9 in terms of value. Uh, the meta rating will be a 9.0. He's a meta dribble on this game. He's a meta player in general. And I would give him a meta rating of a 9.0. And that's where we're going to be coming up to the end of the review. I hope you have enjoyed today's review of Alan C. Maximin. If you do want to see one on uh, Prime R9 or anyone like that, simply let me know in the comment section below. I might get it. Uh, a Christmas little special for you guys. But um, I think I'm going to do the best strikers again soon. Feature C. Maximin and R9 in the same episode but if you do want to see that let me know in the comment section below as well but thank you very much for watching today if you have enjoyed you know what to do you bring that like you smash that like uh drop a comment in the comment section below as well today let me know what you think of sam maximin is he overpriced is he underpriced let me know all that things i think i can kind of gather what you guys are gonna say from that but uh a truly truly enjoyable player boys and i had fun i really did have fun thank you very much for watching hope you're having a great festive period Christmas is in two days' time. It's on Friday, boys. Uh, so I hope you have a great Christmas as well. But I'll be uploading during Christmas and whatnot. So uh, don't worry about that. Uh, even if you were worrying about that. Thank you very much for watching today. Like, comment, subscribe. All the good stuff. Hope you have a great day. I will catch you all next time.